eight thirty. It's not Sunday. It's Monday, but we're still doing a May You Are Real and Uncut. Okay, why is this in a knot? See, this is the kind of stuff right here. Hold on, let me just take him off real quick. Cause that would bother me. Hi, brother. My brother's on. Hi, brother. I love you. Hey, Nick Walker. I have a feeling most of these people are just popping in for two seconds and are gonna pop right out. Um, but anyway, so today's Raw Real and Uncut. Well, tonight's. I know it's not Sunday. We're doing it on Monday because you know life happens. Um, it's actually gonna be about calorie counting. I know. You're like, what? We're talking about weight loss again? Yes, we're talking about weight loss. You wanna know why? Because we're halfway through the year and y'all aren't halfway to your goals. Some of y'all aren't 25% toward close to, to your goals. Some of y'all ain't one pound closer to your goals. So this is just a quick reminder like, hey, you can do this. If you have some goals of dropping a few pounds, maybe slimming down a little bit, maybe just, you know, you want to wear your crop tops. I'm wearing crop tops this summer. I don't care what y'all talking about. I know it's just turned summer two days ago, but I'm wearing my crop tops, okay? So um, I wanted to talk about calorie counting. So we're just gonna do some quick math here. Um, in order to lose one pound, you have to have a 3,500 calorie deficit. How do you get that? Usually people break it down into either one pound a week, which is 500 calorie deficit per day for seven days, or two pounds, which would be in a, th a 1,000 calorie deficit every day for seven days. That'd be 7,000, 3,500 times two is 7,000. Boom, two pounds. You can lose two pounds a week. Also, um, using that same method um, of just having that caloric deficit, um, statistics say that it's healthy for you to lose up to 1% of your body weight per week. So let's say you're me, let's say you weigh 100 and 60 pounds. We're just going to throw that number out. 160 pounds. So it would be healthy for me to lose 1.6 pounds per week. And I should be able to do that or up to two pounds doing the 1,000 calorie deficit every day. Now, how do you create this deficit? Two things. Got to eat less and work out more. How do you do that? You substitute things for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You quit the snacking. And if you snack, you snack on low carb or low calorie things such as maybe you have some cucumber or you have a small piece of fruit. Note, I said small piece of fruit. Um, also, drinking your water will help to decrease the... Hey, mommy. My mom's watching. Hey, uh, Dee Dee. Um, but drinking your water will increase will decrease that um, that desire to eat when you're actually thirsty. So these are all these things that you can do to help to cut your calories down. Now, in order to burn more calories, of course, you have to move more. Either you're going on a walk or you're running or you're doing a class or you're dancing in your living room. There's no excuse for you not to move more. If you have a Fitbit, do a challenge with some folks. You don't even have to know the people. Just challenge some folks and it'll just give you that little bit of extra motivation to move a little bit more. The American Heart Association recommends that you have 10,000 steps per day every day. Um, I think that's a good amount. Um, another way you can just increase the amount of steps that you're getting, just park further away. I know we all want the good spot right up front. But if you know that you're not working out that day, and let's say you only have 25 or 5,000 steps, 2,500 or 5,000 steps and you want to get some more steps, park further away when you stop at the store. Go for a walk. If you have kids, go play with the kids. Like, there's so many ways that you can move more. Um, I wanted to do this particular video because I was just thinking back on my own life and the things that I've done. And the thing that I did that worked every time and I was able to be a little more consistent, obviously not all the way consistent because I'd be at my goal weight and stay in there, but more consistent is calorie counting. And the reason that works for me is because I like sweets. Let's go keep it 100. I'm keeping 100 with y'all. I like sweets. And if I'm counting my calories and I know that I want a piece of cake that day and that piece of cake is about 400 calories, I know that I got to go a little bit lighter on the breakfast, a little bit lighter on the lunch. Maybe I have cake for dinner. Now, is this a healthy thing to be doing all the time? Absolutely not. However, some people believe that it's calories in versus calories out. They don't care what kind of calories it is. I personally think you need to try to get as many healthy calories in as possible. 
Um, what about people with a bum knee? Well, there's upper body exercises that you can do. You can do the little hand bike. You can do things like that. Um, you can swim in a pool if that's if that doesn't bother your knee. There are things that you can do with your upper body. There's something called upper body cardio. You're sitting, but you're doing your arms like this with the ropes. Have you seen people doing that? It's not just to work that. It's actually to get your heart rate up. Because when you increase that heart rate, that's how you burn more calories. Um, what was the other thing I was saying? Oh, about the calories in versus calories out. So I like, so like I said, some people believe calories in versus calories out. It doesn't matter what you eat. I think you need to get some healthy calories in. However, I don't think that having a piece of cake once a week, okay, maybe that's a bit extreme because I like cake. Maybe once every couple of weeks is bad. If I got a hankering for a freaking quarter pounder with cheese, I'm going to have a quarter pounder with cheese. Now, I also have to know that that quarter pounder with cheese has 652 calories or however many it has. I don't know. I didn't look that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have less calories in the beginning of the day or less calories for lunch so that I can make sure my calorie intake is still within that that range, whatever that range may be. So for someone like me, my body size, without any working out, I typically burn about 1,700 calories. So 1,700 calories, let's say, with my workout, I burn another 500. So that would mean my calories would be up to 2,200 calories. I have a 2,200 calorie expenditure for the day. However, I want to lose weight, so I'm not going to eat 2,200 calories. I'm going to cut at least 500 calories of that out, or even 1,000 if I'm really trying to like get to my goal really quickly. Um, yeah. I didn't realize it got your heart rate up. Yes, absolutely. It's all about the heart rate. Um, that's how you get your cardio. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, was I a little distracted. Um, oh yes, about your calories. So for someone my size, I burn about 1700 calories at 500. Boom. We're at the 2200 calorie mark. Um, so the minimum I would recommend anyone eating and that this is just kind of the general rule of thumb is 1200 calories most people are going to eat more than 1200 calories so in order to still have a high deficit but not have to only eat a tiny amount you gotta work out more go ahead and do that hour of cardio and then go ahead and add on some weight training ladies 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 it's okay to lift weights. You're not going to turn into the Hulk. I know you think you are because sometimes you see those women in the gym that might look a little Hulkish. Well, here's a little secret. Don't tell nobody. They're probably taking something to make them look like the Hulk, if you know what I mean. So don't worry about that. What you're going to look like probably is a fitness model, not um, a bodybuilder, okay? So ladies, don't be afraid to lift weights weights. That's one way that you can help to reshape your body, build up the parts that you want to build up, help shrink down the parts you want to shrink down um, by lifting those weights. Boom. See, I don't look like a man, but I got a muscle. Yeah. So that's it. Um, this was just a quick video, just a reminder to myself that calorie counting worked for me. So I probably need to get back on it, hit my goal, and just maintain for the rest of my life. The only time I ever plan on getting up to 170 something again is if I'm carrying some handsome man's babies. Oh, yeah, that's gonna happen. All right, that's it. If anyone who's tuned in has any questions, feel free to ask them. If you don't have any or you have them later, I will reply to the post, even if it's at a later date. Okay, let's get healthy and stay healthy. Um, do the best you can. Like I said, we just got to move more. We got to move more. We got to eat less, okay? Don't think that eating less means just a salad. If you have a salad, it's probably only about mm, 25, 30, 50 calories. But if you put 200 calories worth of salad dressing on it, probably not a good idea. Look at the back of your packages. See how many calories in it. See how much a serving size is. A lot of times we get tricked by serving size. You're like, oh, look at this bag of chips. It's only 250 calories. And then you look at it and you zoom in. It's 250 calories per serving, two servings per bag. So you don't have 500 calories. And you didn't even realize, boom, you don't through, blew through over half, your, almost half your calories. So be aware of what you're putting in your body. If you're doing the vegan thing, I encourage you to go ahead and do that. If you're doing no meat, if you're doing vegetarian, whatever you're doing, you definitely need to know what's going in your body. So that's it. Just a quick video. I'm back on calorie counting. I'm doing a 21 day challenge starting tomorrow. I was going to start today, but I had these two ribs. Oh, they were so good. 
I don't know how many calories are in them. So I'm starting tomorrow counting all my calories. It's called the, um, I've coined it the log every calorie challenge for 21 days starting tomorrow. Okay. So if you're putting milk in cereal, measure the milk. Is it really a cup? Did you have three quarters of a cup? You got to measure everything. So if you want to join that challenge, feel free to join the challenge. Use the hashtag, hashtag LEC challenge. That's log every calorie challenge. And um, I'll just be on the lookout for you. Look out for my posts. Um, I'll probably screenshot at the end of the day everything that I eat in just so that you can see. And now it might look crazy sometimes because like I said, sometimes I might want a little piece of cake. Don't judge me. But you will see my results. Um, I'm probably going to do a weigh-in tomorrow. I don't know how good it's going to be. But I'm going to go ahead and do a weigh-in because I need the accountability. I was down to 153. Then I went back up to 157. And I was just like, what the heck is going on? So we'll see in the morning. That's it. Everyone have a great evening. I need to get in the shower because I just worked out. And I just came here and just sat down and just did this video for you guys. And I need to get in the shower. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So everyone have a splendid evening and I'll see you next time. Bye.